Hi everyone, this is Cave and Rocco. Uh, I want to thank everyone for viewing this channel and for your support. Um, I got a few um, email requests to go over uh, certain chords I use in my jazz videos and also my African videos. So I decided to do this tutorial on what I call locked hand African black chords. These are black chords block chords are different from the jazz chords used by Oscar Peterson and George Sharon which is based on the bebop scale and uh, the bebop scale is the C major scale with the sharp 5 or an A flat added And what they did to harmonize the scale was to first play a major six. So a C major six, which is C, E, G, A, and then play a diminished uh, chord. So you have a D, F, A flat, and B, and they will do that until they get the sound of the scale. Okay, and what uh, George Sharon used to do was to actually do double the octave. So he would play the C6 chord with a C in the bottom and a C on top and harmonize it. Now, th this is different from the African. Uh, black chords. The African, just as the uh, jazz chords were invented by Joe Sharon, uh, the um, African black chords uh, were, inv were invented by uh, people like uh, Ken Onyina and uh, Konimo. And what they did was to take the high life scale, which is the same as the Mixolydian, Mixolydian scale. And what that is, is uh, if you play in, a, uh, in C, it's almost like you're playing an F, but starting from C. So you get a sound like this. So that is the Mixolydian scale. And you could um, check out my tutorial on how to improvise on high life music with modes. Um, so in the African block chords, what they would do is take, instead of take a six like the jazz chords, they would take a seventh. So like a C seventh, the next chord will be a D minor, a C seven, a D minor, a C seven again, a D minor, and to do the, the major B, they, the next chord will be a G7 and then back to a C7. Okay, so it all sound like this. Again, that is the log hand African block chord method. And this was inv uh, invented by uh, Ken Onyina and Konimo. Again, it has taken a C7 for the first chord. Okay, and we're playing octaves, which means the C and a C should be on the bottom and a C should be on the top. So you have an E, a G, a B flat, a D minor. A C7 but with the E on the bottom, a D minor but with the um, F on the bottom, a C7 with a G on the bottom, a D minor with the A on the bottom, a G7 for the um, for the uh, second to last chord, and then back to a C7. 
So we have. And they would do this uh, to harmonize uh, various African melodies. I will show you an example with the song, uh, the Lion King song, also known as uh, Mbobe from South Africa. And a lot of people have heard this song. Uh, this, the melody of the song is like this. So, for that melody, if we're going to uh, use the African locked hand uh, black chords, uh, we will make sure the melody is on top. And you can leave um, some of the uh, notes out if you want, but if you put it in, it sounds a lot richer. So, it would sound like this. If I'm to play the song with the bass line and to play it with the African uh, locked hand uh, black chords, it would sound very rich. And just as in jazz, they do it um, with the uh, black chords. I'll show you how the Africans uh, do it with their black chords. So we have. And that is, again, the African logged hand black chords, again, based on the Mixolydian scale and uh, invented by uh, jazz, I mean, uh, High Life Great, uh, Kony Mo, and uh, Ken Onyina. And um, I hope this helps. This will help you uh, harmonize a lot of songs. You can play uh, a lot of African uh, songs, gospel, and high life songs with it and uh, try and mess around with different melodies and um, see if you can get it. I will also end it uh, by playing uh, the Ghanaian song Dan I say and you will see exactly what I'm talking about in terms of how to harmonize uh, with these chords.